Phantoms coming to the game off uh, nine successive victories. The Wildcats are in good form too. Uh, there's uh, barely a fag paper between the two sides in the NIHL South 1. Puck into the slot, not cleared. Big shot there, chance. Oh, dear me. So Jordan Marr gets it at the second chance. Nell snapping at the scraps. We've only got 42 seconds of the power play to go. Here is Nell, chips it in off the plexi. And there's Callum Buglas. He's made a good start to his Phantoms career. Onto the blue line, it's a big shot. There's the opener. So a big shot from, uh, from Jones, from Sam Jones. Not sure whether he got a deflection, but it's a first goal. Here's the replay. So there's the shot. Well, it's gone straight through. Traffic in front of Jordan Mark. And uh, the Wildcats get on the board. A power play goal with five minutes and 38 seconds on the clock. First time we've mentioned his name. Got a good start to the season. Shot. Well, one-timer, chance again, nets off its moorings. Norton round the board, Stepanek a little slow to get there, I think, there on the boards. Could have done better. Norton now rushes, and I think the Phantoms will play it off the boards. And it's still not out of the zone. Phantoms had the chance. Oh, it's gone in the net. Rook kiss with a spin. It's lobbed over Jordan Mars' left-hand shoulder. And I've got to say to you, the Phantoms are the architects of their own downfall. They had a chance to clear the goal. Here's 37 rookies. And, uh, well, that's some finish. Mars got his glove up and that's gone through him. Yeah, well, we said last week about the, the lights above, the, above uh, Jordan's net here. It's really dark in Peterborough. Any shot from outside the blue line or just on the blue line is going to chance to get in. But, like I say, this is a, a great, great... 12 minutes from Swindon, really. Into the circle by James Ferrara. Time is going. Shot and blocked by the Swindon Wildcats. Norton, one time, and what a goal! Tom Norton, power play goal. A boomer from the blue line. Well worked and still time on the clock. Norton hits it first time. And uh, the Phantoms are on the board. Phantoms won. Swindon Wildcats 2. Let's have a look. There we go. Th through traffic, screen netminder, power play goal for the Phantoms. And uh, yeah, we're just keeping an eye on how attacking Aaron Nellies. So there's a shot there, and uh, there's a Phantom player down. Uh, and that's uh, another. Yeah, we, we, if we can get a replay of that one, here it goes. So, yeah, so Nell goes for the shot. And it's number two, absolutely, it's uh, number two, Sam Jones, the goal scorer. I, I've got no doubt that that was a penalty, but let's just see who it was. It's uh, 45, uh, Callum Buglis. Round of applause from the uh, Phantoms fans and, of course, from the Swindon fans. That's how it rolls. What a move, and uh, in turn a good save from Jordan Marr. Opportunity, McEwen getting close, great play, great pace from Corey McEwen. And the Phantoms battling the nets off. Alice Padalek moves it on, and here's Glenn Billing. Glenn Billing to the bottom of the circle, Paddy calling for it. Uh, there's a man free, there's a man open at the uh, point. Is it Bowering? Goal! Glenn Billing! Well, I was looking for the pass. He's gone at the short side. So he's gone round the back. And, uh, well, that's gone in. Yeah, yeah, the goal is streaming, saying it didn't go in, but it hit the middle of his yeah. pad and went right through his legs here. But, like I say, number 37 was, wasn't watching. Tyler had his guy, and Billy was right behind there and just went to pass the paddy, hit the skate, straight through his legs, and it's in the net. That's, uh, it's what they were deserved for the last five minutes and so Phantoms have been a bit on top, but... Well, there's 34, the Bloodshirt Sisters. Matt Phantoms have a man over. Chance, Phantoms, pad save! More great stuff from the Swin and Wildcats netminder. 22 seconds left of the power play. Phantoms, two, Swin and Wildcats, two. 17 seconds. Chance, oh, goal!
Net, it's off its moorings. Well, the net's off its moorings. Yeah. I mean, I think there's a strong argument for that to be given. The net's in the goal. The goal is kicked it off once more. But, uh, well, it, nothing given. Um, not sure I'd have given anything for that either. 3.34 remaining in this period. McEwen. Goal! Norton! With the one-timer. Phantoms come from two down. Norton on the hash mark. Fires straight through Renimar. Phantoms 2-0 down to 3-2 up. What a game of hockey. Yeah, as we watch that going through, you can see Sester's got the puck. Everyone's watching his normal strike partner, Stepanek. Norton just ghosts in from the blue line. One strike and it's in. Nobody watching him, not even the netminder. It's been a good 30 seconds. Phantoms keeping those D-men low. Robson moves it. Oh, and that's an opportunity. Bevery does terrifically well. Chance, man over. Big opportunity for the Phantoms. Goal! Number 34, Martin Susters fires into the empty cage. Phantoms two down. Phantoms lead 4-2. Let's see it again. Watching McEwen, you see him hold the puck. He holds the puck and you think he's waited too late. Again, everyone's watching to panic. They've ignored the threat coming in. This time the threat is Susters and he's got a virtually empty net to shoot in. Steve. Could you have coached a better goal than that? I could have scored one better, but no, no. What happened was, uh, obviously, Swindon broke and uh, Bebris kicked Suster's feet away. So all the Swindon players were looking to see if Hewitt had called it. Hewitt didn't call it. We went down. Suster's was the last guy in the zone because he got tripped up and everyone just never picked him up and it was a great goal from Martin there. Suster's waiting for the puck, has to... Move into the corner himself, chance, save, that's come off, uh, well, I'm going to tell you that I think that came off um, Mars' helmet, and uh, Stepanek reaches, doesn't get enough to get it clear, Jones looking for his man, Beerbrayer, to, uh, to receive from Aaron Nell, Nell picks it up once more, going to go for the big one, not yet, Jones once more, patience from the visitors here tonight, oh, it's gone in! And a shot from the blue line, Aaron Nell whips one in, reduces the deficit. Uh, Jordan Marr screened. And it's come back out, it, Jordan Marr and gone in. Yeah, I think uh, Sam was screening him right in front of the goal there with Bebris, and when it come across, Robbie moved Sam out of the way, so I think, again, Jordan had a, a good view of that one and just, just couldn't, well, couldn't get a good... He got a bit of glove on it, but it's, uh, it's just what Swindon... It looks like glove into the crossbar and, and possibly back in, in off his back. So, 4-3. Wouldn't uh, be too upset if, if it was a one-goal game, but straight down the gut opportunity. Bebris does well. He's... It is Bebris. It's getting cut, knotted up there. Thought Bebris had the big, the golden chance. Great stuff from Bebris. And I uh, would imagine... Oh, so close, right at the death. There's the buzzer. So, ladies and gentlemen, the Phantoms take the first leg of the semi-final, 4-3. The Phantoms fans are applauding and so are the Swindon fans.